So this is what my setup looks like. And that's basically what I need. One important aspect of the mixing and mastering process is the artist behind the song. I know that on this channel I feature mixing tutorials, mixing breakdowns, all that technical goodness, but today I wanna do more than that. I wanna showcase the artist behind the song. I wanna show you their setup and I wanna talk about that for a bit. After that, we're gonna move to a mix breakdown so you can see what you can achieve with a similar setup. No processing. With the processing. They can't identify you. Yeah, I don't know what's coming. They're saying this series is called Artist Spotlight, and today we're featuring D Cure. D Cure is a really talented artist that has incredible lyrics and his fast rapping is legendary. You don't have it down the swap in every camp with a pot. Everybody went this drive, not talking about going to physical that is an episode, but no one got a middle of requirement of fire in your living room, not come in the middle on screen. One of my favorite music groups till this day is Bone Thugs and Harmony. So I love this fast rapping style with clever lyrics and raw emotion. Now I'm gonna let D Cure showcase his studio and we're gonna talk about it after that. What's up, y'all? My name is D Cure and I'm a hip hop artist out of the US. Two Pro wanted me to show you guys my home studio, so let's check it out. So this is what my setup looks like. I wanna start with the interface because everything routes through it. This is a Focusrite Scarlett interface. And as you can see, microphone jack, headphone jack. In the back, we have the left and right monitors, which are here and over here. Those are Yamaha HS5s. And the red cord in the back is the USB, which comes around and connects right into my laptop where I have Logic Pro 10 pulled up. And that's just my digital audio workstation or DAW of choice. And that's basically what I need. The microphone I'm currently using is a Rode NT2A, which looks like that. Pop filter in front helps to suppress popping sounds in your recordings. And then I have this foam pad in the back, which helps to keep the sound from bouncing off the walls and giving you echo in your recordings. So that just helps with the sound. Over here, I just have my studio headphones. Anything with the jack that looks like this should do the trick. And that goes right in there. And that is it. Simple enough, set up for a home studio. So you can see DQ is using a Focusrite interface. This one is probably the entry level one that has two mic inputs. For his monitoring setup, he's using Yamaha HS5s. Those are probably the most popular speakers when it comes to entry level home studios. Really great speakers. He's using a MacBook, so a laptop for his recordings, using Logic X. For the microphone, he's using a Rode NT2A. The only problem that I have with that mic paired with Dicure's voice is that the sibilance is really annoying and really hard to deal with. This is a really bright mic and when it comes to fast rapping where you have a lot of S's, one after the other is really, really hard to deal with. That's my only issue when it comes to this mic. Pop filter, a must have. As you can see, the room he uses to record is not treated, so the acoustic shield behind the microphone is a must if you want to contain some of those reflections, some of that uh, muddiness. It's not ideal, but it works. He didn't mention the headphones, but I think those are bare dynamics. Don't quote me on that. A home studio, really straight to the point, nothing is out of place. Everything is there with a purpose. That helps when it comes to the creative process. You don't have things to worry about. You have the microphone, the audio interface, headphones, and you're good to go, ready to record. Now we're gonna jump into the computer and we're gonna break down track this is an older track from the album clean you can find all his songs on spotify the song was recorded with this exact setup you can hear how everything sounds and you can hear the final result after mixing and mastering on spotify the track for the breakdown is called not welcome i really love the track because it alternates fast rapping with singing this is something that dq does really well the structure of the song is pretty clever
I think a lot of people can relate to the song. It's about feeling like an outsider. BX Digital on the two bus and Isotope 4. This is what I'm using for some multiband uh, compression. Like usual, I like the routing pretty simple. Every single vocal in this session goes out to a sub bus and that bus goes out to the main vocal bus where I have some processing. Let's start with the intro. I wanted a distorted sound, something that sounds not that pristine. This is the processing done on the intro bus degrader, decreasing the sample rate, decreasing the bit depth using the pre and post filters. I'm using the sauce to add some saturation and some flanger, some compression, reverb and that's it. CLA two-way, compressing it and SU2 because I wanted that telephonic radio type of uh, sound. I don't like the resonance in those sort of sounds and with SU2 I can tame those so it doesn't sound that piercing. As far as sounds go, I am using the rap play, Echo Boy. A ping pong, same replay, same ping pong, a lay throw, automated on the last word of the intro. In your eyes. Just to make sure I have a smooth transition between that section and the next section, which is this one. This vocal goes out to another bus it has a similar processing now with some added delays those two buses are going out to this adly bus where i have a chorus effect cla effects doing the filtering cla 2a c4 and a pro q3 doing the corrective EQing. On the verse, the cure was really clever with it and we have an answer and a reply type of thing going on. We have a singing vocal and a rapping part, both going to the same verse bus. Let me play you the vocals without any processing. Yeah. Ain't nobody want me around. I got a story, but they know what it's about. Hoping that I return. Anywhere but here. Who is this guy walking toward me with a big beard? Anyone looking at you like this guy might commit a crime. Better hold my purse tight if I see him get in line. I know I don't look like I'm a super nice guy, but I promise you we're gonna be fine. Anybody telling you with their eyes? You don't fit in, you won't get in, but I don't. Let's add just the sense back. I don't buy. And it never quite matters how polite that I can be when I climb a tree for the kids. Let here we don't have anything special, a ping pong delay, the rap delay, a slap delay, just to make sure that I get the lead vocal, the rapping part, a bit wider. As the main reverb, I'm using 7th Heaven Professional with a hole. On the singing part, I have the micro shift, so I can have a really small difference between the rapping part and the singing part. Then on the verse, adding some air and some vocal crush both in parallel Aphex Vintage Exciter and an 1176 from Arturia. Now let me break down the processing. Ain't nobody want me around. I got a story, but they know what it's about. Hoping that I return. Anywhere but here. Who is this guy walking toward me with a big beat? Like Crime better hold my purse tight if I see him getting like I'm a super nice guy, but I promise you we're gonna be funny. With their eyes You don't fit in You won't get in But I don't buy And it never quite matters How polite That I can be When I climb a tree For the kids kind Let me hold the door open One more time Doesn't even matter When I'm showing up And People chatter And they're walking pretty slowly Maybe I should feel flatter Cause they notice But I know why they scatter And I gotta say yeah. Ain't nobody want me around I got a story But they know what it's about Hoping that I return Anywhere but here Who is this guy Walking toward me With a big beat You like This guy might commit a crime Better hold my purse tight 
Uh, and I know I don't look like I'm a super nice guy, but I promise you we're gonna be fine. Anybody telling you with their eyes. You don't fit in, you won't get in, but I don't bite. And it never quite matters how polite that I can be when I climb a tree for the kids' kite. Let me hold the door open one more time. Doesn't even matter when I'm showing up and feeling like I'm seeing you people chattering. They're walking pretty slowly, maybe I should feel flatter, because they notice, but I know why they're scattering. I gotta say, yeah. ain't nobody want me around. I got a story, but they know what it's about. Hoping that I return. Anywhere but here, who is this guy walking toward me with a big beard? Anyone looking at you like... It'll crime, better hold my purse tight. I know I look like I'm a super nice guy, but I promise you we're gonna be fine. Anybody telling you with their right? And you won't get in, but I don't bite. And it never quite matters how polite that I can be when I climb a tree for the kids' kite. Let me hold the door open one more time. Doesn't even matter when I'm showing up and feeling like I'm seeing you people chattering. They're walking pretty slowly. Maybe I should feel flatter because they notice, but I know why they scatter and I gotta say, yeah. ain't nobody want me around. I got a story, but they know what it's about. Hoping that I return. And that's the processing. Corrective EQ, first compressor. Since this is recorded in an untreated room with some issues I had to use multiple stages of correction first I have the C4 with my controller preset doing some multiband compression the sync compressor I like using CLA2A on vocals or other 2A emulations the sync again some more corrective EQing more corrective EQing at 3k 2.5 and removing some of that low rumble C6 targeting two specific frequencies 329 and 261 at the end of the chain I'm just gluing everything together with this radiator adding some bass and some treble back in pushing the input just a touch I have a similar processing on the hook but I've added a few different plugins I'm using the RX the click without it it sounded like this yeah, I don't know what's coming coming for you always out here judging not knowing the truth they just take one look and they can identify you yeah i don't know it's i find those clicks a bit annoying that's why i have the the click then i have a meta flanger is really low in the mix five percent wet just to add a touch of character at the end of the chain we have the sauce and with this i'm just doing some pitch formatting just to add more body and more depth to the hook the effect is barely noticeable but in the context of the mix it adds texture on the bridge we have same thing with a different corrective eq on the vocal bus we have two instances of suit the first one is dealing with the mids and the lower frequencies yeah, i don't know what's coming coming for you always out here judging i know it now i can promise you my heart is so big so people turn away you never know what i did yeah i was smoked picked the whip as a kid with a tear in my eye praying god i win a bid yo fast forward about 10 years later i became and the second one is dealing with this range that's really nasal so along the way a couple divorce papers and i can't put down the bottle then yeah i know that i'm dying as i'm buying every more corrective stuff and spiff removing some of those nasty transients mouth clicks and compressor artifacts now i can promise you my heart is so big but people turn away you never know what i did yeah and it's mixed in i retain some of those uh, transients as you can see i have a lot of processing i think the end result sounds pretty decent i usually don't like processing the vocals this much but sometimes you have to do it the last thing that i want to show you is that i have a suit on the beat in sidechain and the sidechain is triggered by the vocals it's in mid side so i'm targeting mostly the mid section Heart is so big, so people turn away, you never know what I did. Yeah, I was mugged, pissed away, there's a kid with a tear in my eye, praying. No processing. With their eyes. You don't fit in, you won't get in, but I don't buy. never buy, man, it's how polite. That I can be when I climb a tree for the kids' kite. Open the door open one more time. Doesn't even matter when I'm showing up and feeling like I'm seeing you people chatter. And they're walking pretty slowly, maybe I should feel flatter. Cause they notice, but I know why they scatter and I gotta say. Yeah, I don't know what's coming, coming for you. Always out here judging, not knowing the truth. They just take one look in the and with the processing, they can identify you. Yeah, I don't know what's coming. They're saying, oh. when it comes to automation, 
I don't have that much automation. I have some delay throws on the verse, some level automation done on this singing part on the verse, just to make sure that I keep everything consistent. Some small delay throws and at the end, because the beat wasn't that smooth, I added a reverb. So I have a tail. I think I've added, yep, I've added a reverb and a delay just to make the outro, the ending part of the song, really smooth. And that's it for the breakdown of this song. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I want to say a big thank you to Dcure. You can follow him on Instagram. Give him a follow on Spotify. Really, really talented artist. I really enjoy working with him. If you like this sort of videos, please let me know with a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I post videos. I try and post every single week, sometimes twice a week. Thanks for the support and see you guys really, really soon. Cheers.